A tenant in Seattle was so bad, such a horrible tenant, that because of this tenant, the landlord was forced to live in his van. That's right. This tenant was so bad, they made this poor guy homeless. Let's discuss. All right, y'all. We got a rough one for you. We got a rough one for you today. We're talking about a story that has come out of Seattle, okay? And for those of you that don't know, Seattle is horrible for landlords, right? There's a few places in this world that are just terrible, terrible places to be for landlords, right? You don't want to be a landlord in Seattle. You don't want to be a landlord in that dirty hellhole Portland. You don't want to be a landlord in California. These places hate landlords, okay? It, it is just terrible. Now, this particular landlord, man, he got a rough one. And, you know, people paint landlords as bad, evil, rich, greedy conglomerate companies. Not the case with this dude, right? This is just like a regular Joe, man. Uh, let's see here. Like it says in the article, I read it uh, earlier. He's a mechanic, for Christ's sake, guys. He's a mechanic. I don't know about y'all, but when I think of evil, greedy billionaire conglomerates, I don't usually think about the fucking guy changing the oil in my car, dude, right? So uh, this guy, Jason Roth, uh, he bought this home in 2006, a mechanic by trade. Roth loved time, spending time improving the building. He entertained the idea of leaving Seattle to pursue other career opportunities, so it made sense to list the home as a rental, right? So he's an accidental landlord, okay? That's how a lot of landlords actually get started. I know uh, the woke and the maniacs, the woke fucking mob in places like Seattle or Portland or California will tell you that all landlords are like Black Rock and they're all billionaires. We're all running around hanging out with Jeff Bezos or something. No, not really. The majority of landlords in America are just like this guy, just regular people. Uh, this guy didn't even really try to be a landlord, okay? Uh, he owned a home, he lived in it, and then he moved out of that home, right? And he decided to rent it, okay, so he can go do a different job, right? Because, you know... Being a mechanic is tough, right? So given that this guy is a mechanic by trade, he's not a professional, and, you know, a little bit of blame does lie on him for not running the proper uh, background checks. But, hey, guess what? Newsflash, y'all. It's Seattle. He might not even have been allowed to run the proper background checks because when you get into places like Seattle, Portland, California, they have all kinds of insane laws that limit your ability to properly screen your tenants and do those background checks, right? I've seen uh, counties in California where landlords are not allowed legally. It is illegal for landlords um, to do criminal background checks, right? We, we did a story on that. I'll link that below. Uh, Minnesota, the Supreme Court had to overrule it because for a while they weren't letting uh, landlords review eviction filings. That's insane when you're tenant screening, right? And you got places like Seattle that are, you know, even worse than places like Minnesota, right? They're so fucking terrible. So uh, he might not even legally have been able to do the proper tenant screening because he was trying to be a landlord in Seattle. And it is just so freaking horrible being a landlord in some liberal woke shithole like seattle as a matter of fact i got a handy list john my list i got a list i wrote down some things i would rather do than be a landlord in seattle so before we get to the uh remainder of the story i would you like to hear would you like to hear some things i'd rather do than be a landlord in seattle i'd love to hear it all right Things I would rather do than be a landlord in Seattle. Number one, eat gas station sushi. Not bad. Uh, number two, I would rather ride in a helicopter with Kobe Bryant than be a landlord in Seattle. That's a good one. Uh, sticking with the Lakers, I would rather become Blood Brothers with Magic Johnson. Yes? Take a, take a side of AIDS with that, yes? I would rather give a Nigerian prince my social security number. It's always a good one. Yes, always good. Uh, ooh, I would rather be locked in a room with P. Diddy after he OD'd on Viagra. It's 
It's gonna be a good night for you. Solid, solid. Uh, number six, second to last one, y'all. I would rather send my daughter to Epstein Island. That could be a rough one. Or the last one here. The last thing I could think of that would be better than being a landlord in Seattle. I would rather send my wife to the same karate instructor that Tom Brady sent Giselle to. Man. All of these things, y'all, would be better than being a landlord in Seattle where you get tarred and feathered. Anywho, back to the story. Now, uh, so we got uh, <coughs> we got Roth here, right? He's a mechanic, not a professional landlord, wants to move out the house, trying to, you know, do better for himself, get a different career path, finds this particular tenant, does not do the proper tenant screening, combination i assume of him being inexperienced and also the horrible horrible restrictive laws that those woke maniacs in seattle have okay so long story short and if you guys want the full story i'll link the article if you want to read the full story here but long story short he puts this tenant in his property he thinks the tenant is a low-income tenant and uh he thinks he's okay though he thinks he's got enough to pay the rent puts the tenant in the property All's fine until it comes time for the rent to be due, like the you know the first payment, right? Tenant doesn't fucking pay. Guy's like, yo, you didn't pay, you didn't pay. Smash cut. Realizes not only did the guy not pay, the guy just rented his house or basically stole his house and then started running it as an Airbnb, right? So this dude stole this poor mechanic's house started running the thing as a freaking Airbnb, Airbnb, making money off of it. And because it is Seattle, the the length of time, it is going to take this poor bastard uh, to evict the tenant. Uh, he's running out of money. He, he was banking on that money uh, to move and fulfill his career. So because he didn't have a lot to start with, the house is like his only real asset, the tenant stole the asset from him. Now he's trying to navigate the horrible legal situation that is trying to evict someone who stole your home in a horrible liberal shithole like Seattle. Uh, the poor bastard ran out of money, can't get to his destination, has to stay in Seattle to try to take care of this. He's got months and months and months and months ahead of him here uh, dealing with this stuff. And... He's out of money. The guy's fucking homeless now. He had nowhere to go. He's not staying in a hotel. He didn't get to do his travels. He literally moved into his van, and this poor bastard is living in his van while this piece of crap tenant is is running an Airbnb business out of his house. And the worst part is because the tenant, like, uh, is a low-income tenant, there's, like, some type of, like, uh, restriction with uh, in Seattle, I guess. Uh, with, with the utilities. So th this dude who, who is now homeless and living in a fucking van is paying for the utilities for all the Airbnb guests to utilize in his home that was stolen from him. That, folks, that is how horrible it is to be a landlord in Seattle. John, how does it sound riding in a helicopter with Kobe Bryant versus this? Surely better. Like, jeez. Way better, Jesus. Like, you are thinking, like, you might be thinking to yourself, you're probably like, well, wait a second. How many Viagra pills did P. did he take? You know, like... Still better being a landlord like, in Seattle. You know, like, I, th I think the boner only lasts for four hours. I, I believe after the four hours, you, P. Diddy would have to leave. You would have to go to the doctor. Um, like, that's how that works, yes? I suppose so. I've never taken Viagra. You never, t you don't take, bo you don't take boner pills? Uh, don't need right. to. Well, hey, a little bit of a little bit of reconnaissance for you. I'm gonna need you to take some boner pills, try to get the boner to last longer than four hours, and let me know what happens to your wiener after hour number four. Probably would not be good. So yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> that uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's where we're at, guys. Uh, so this this guy, Jason Roth, he's literally homeless uh, because of the terrible landlord tenant policies in place in that in that, that that just nightmarish woke nation seattle seattle washington y'all pay attention if you're gonna invest in real estate you're gonna become a landlord and you're living in seattle you need to pay attention 
to this story. Show the story to your friends. If you got a buddy, you're at the local watering hole, and he's like, dude, I'm going to be a landlord. It's sweet. And you're like, wait, bruh, hold up. I don't think fucking Seattle's where we need to do this, dog. You got to check this out, man, unless you got a really, really nice van, in which case, you know, whatever. If your van is fucking dope, I mean, that's cool, but, like, mm. I think it sucks, man. So my heart goes out to this guy and my heart goes out to anybody else who's trying to invest in a blue state, uh, a blue city, right? Me personally, I've made all my money investing in red states. Uh, hit us up if you guys want to find out more about that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.